I guess it's been, it's been a while since I've done some of my renovation updates, but we're getting pretty close to the to the big event, to the wedding, and to people coming over here for the first time. And I tell you what, behind the scenes, we've been working our asses off, just doing cleaning ups and details and stuff. It sort of wasn't in a budget, and it wasn't part of the original spec. But you know, we got such a beautiful house to stay in for relatively nothing. Um, the least I could do was just make it just that little bit nicer. And so the front veranda, the front carport area, didn't have any any uh, iron over the top, um, and it had some like really shitty plastic sheeting. Some there <laughs> wasn't a corrugator or anything. So we pulled that down, and we've gone for some really nice alcinite or, or polycarbonate type sheeting over the top. And I tell you what, the best part is, if I walk inside, and you look across the road, when my gates closed, the whole top level of the next door neighbours was looking straight in our front door and in our window. So it's nice little privacy because it diffuses the, the light a lot. So we've had this whole area resurfaced and skimmed and cleaned up. So we've skimmed this whole, all of the cement, and we've cleaned it right up. We've actually cleaned up out the front of the house as well, so, so there's no big water spots or, or rough bits. And my faithful old builder with the trusty smoke hanging out of his mouth has gone right through, and he's, um, and he's done the, the other side as well, the beer garden. So I'm going to show you for the beer garden now. I'll tell you what, it's been, a, it's been a bit of a mission. We've only got so much space, we've only got a very little amount, amount of money to do it. I'm trying to get something that's that feels nice and comfortable, something that's um, that's practical. I want to be able to do some live vlogs from the beer garden and maybe do a little bit of like, like a podcast or something so we can have some friends around or some people that, are, that know Bali and they can come around and talk about their experiences. I've still got a little bit of work to do in my office and, and get that ready because I also want to turn that into a bit of a film studio. Not a big one, but something where, again, we can do a bit of, a bit of filming and editing. But for the beer garden, I've been looking online and Facebook Marketplace over here is a really, really useful. It's like eBay or Trade Me or any of these sort of uh, Craigslist places. You wouldn't believe what you get for your money. <laughs> There's the ice cream man. <laughs> Not quite Mr. Whippy, but <laughs> he's on a scooter. I'll see if I, I'll show you running up the road. There we go. <laughs> He's got the smallest ice creams and a little, a little, uh, um, what do they call it, dry ice, a little esky on the back of his bike and he scrapes a bit of, a bit of Neapolitan ice cream, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so, yes, let's get back to crisis. So we went on, we went on uh, Marketplace and we were looking at outdoor furniture and Jati, which is the local name for teak, which is a very, very common um, hardwood throughout Indonesia, um, is very, it's very long lasting. They use a lot on boats and the outdoor applications because it does uh, it does do a really really good job. And they have lots and lots of jutty furniture, or teak furniture, and the prices look ridiculously cheap. So I thought, geez, you can hardly go wrong. Now they originally had a set with two table, two single chairs, and a little round table, and they wanted under a hundred dollars. For the lot, for the three of them, it's just rough wood. You still got to polish it or, 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 or sand it and clean it up and paint it, whatever you want. But for under a hundred bucks for a nice little three-piece outdoor setting, I went, "Geez, you can hardly go wrong for that." And then I thought, well, really, for what we want, we want a couple of longer chairs because you know we want to fit half a dozen people around and we'll sit down and have a chat and catch up. So I've got, I've got a two-seater. Actually, I've got two two-seaters. The other one's next door. I'll tell you about that one in a sec. So I've got a two-seater, two singles, a double table, and a single table. And <laughs> you will not believe, look, I, all I'll say is that the whole set was under 200 bucks. But, <laughs> and here's the but. Oh God, I love barley for this reason. So it turned up and I sat on it with my little fat bum. Here's the other seat. And oh, I broke it already. Yeah, look here. <laughs> I pulled the pins out, and, and my butt went just about straight through it. So lucky I've got I've got pa here. He hasn't got a cigarette. What's wrong? Is he giving up? <laughs> so he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> tweak it up for me. Just needs a needs a screw or something, a bit of glue. Nothing much, but. 
we pulled the pump out of the uh, of the spa where you gave a little service to that because there was a bit of a leak in that i resealed all the air jets and that so the silicon wasn't leaking dri dribbling water everywhere. so that's all going to go back into the little bale bangong some shade cloth over there the spa is going to go slide back there i've got a nice little garden out the side here now and when that grows up that'll be nice we've got some shade cloth over there to try and keep that sun down and hey check this out that's our water filtration system we're going to talk to you about that specially because man it's done an incredible job um, these are some spare plants that we're going to put around the around the yard when it's all together and the piesto resistance is look at these banana trees now these these are called fan bananas and they grow up like a big flat fan i'm going to sit one up there up against the window and i think i'll probably have one across from there they sort of make a bit of a wall and they're absolutely beautiful so oh, look it's all happening I've got some herbs, I'm inside, it's too noisy out there. But I've got some thyme and some oregano and some parsley and stuff so I can do a bit of Italian cooking and get a bit of nice flavour. Because it's, it's not that easy to get fresh herbs and stuff over here. Certainly not like Woolies where you just duck down and grab one of those little bag of living herbs. Um, and look, it's really been, it's been busy, it's been crazy. Just trying to juggle everything all at once. We've been running up and down to the school. We've been doing our little feasts down at Jimboran and stuff like that. We've been trying to clean up and sort things out around here. We've got the, the donation room where we're starting to get ready. It's already full of full of donations and, and simbaco. We've got these food parcels that we've got growing. We've got uh, rice. We've got pillowcases starting to pile up. Thank you so much, guys. Those pillowcases are magic. And it's all really, it's all coming together. There's some really big announcements coming shortly in the next uh hopefully in the next week or so about where we're going with with all this uh work we're doing up in the community up in the mountains in the villages and up around armored and places like that because um look yeah wait and see it's going to be fantastic we've we've been blessed that some of our subscribers have come on board and, and helped us to be able to achieve things i never ever could have done by myself and it's not for me it's it's for the people that we're going to be able to affect with that so Oh look, and that with the wedding coming up in a, in a couple of weeks time, it's just been a little bit chaotic and a little bit busy and uh, a bit frustrating at times. Oh, I love it. I, look, even, look, right now, now I've decided we're gonna whitewash this tin because I like, I like that sort of faded white look, but look at how it's turned up. Okay, it's cheap, but look at the stains. <laughs> Someone spilt their coffee or something all over the coffee table. <laughs> Only in Bali, I've got to, I've got to say. Only in Bali, but oh it's been hot out here too i think i've sort of got to the point where the lounge room's just about too hot in, in the afternoon to uh, to sit in even with all the doors open the fans going it's um i guess sometimes maybe when you close the close the gates off out the front you don't get the the straight up breeze so and this bit of sunroof sort of helped a little bit knock some of the heat out but it's been warm i hate to think but i think i might have to eventually get a big air conditioner for the lounge room and it's a pretty big space so it's going to take quite a bit of power and and also quite a big unit to go in there um, the little tiny units we get for my office i'll tell you what I, I get an amazing job we got a little air conditioner for my office brand spanking new and it's samsung and there it is up there at the top there and they're about 250 bucks incredibly cheap just at the shop right directly behind our house so um some things in bali are cheap some things are cheap and nasty and some things it's <laughs> just nasty oh but look, uh, look it's it's pretty it's crazy but it's but it's been good it's been lots of fun um the first guest to hear as you might have seen with the uh, stewie and, and, and andrea turned up the other day we've got probably uh, up to 50 wedding guests coming from all around the world as well as fee's family and and my friends and and relatives and stuff as well um so it's um it's going to be amazing. It's just going to be great to show them a little bit of my, my side of Bali. Um, I've seen Bali from a very, very different pair of eyes that most people ever get to see. And I I'm, I'm feel honoured to have even been part of that journey. But to be able to share that with people I've grown up with and people I haven't seen for many years, some of them, um, it's just going to be, it's going to be uh, amazing. So we'll try and keep as many vlogs as we can going. I, I look, I'm, I just, it's just a matter of time trying to get in and, and, and get them done and then get them edited and put them back on and then go and see people at four o'clock in the afternoon 
it's, it's been pretty hectic, but I'm sure you understand with all of the stuff that, that we're doing, there is so much more happening. I can't wait to tell you the whole story. But um, look, we've even got some really interesting projects. I've got a big piece of wood here and I've got a million pieces of, of jutty here of timber. And we're gonna do a bit of a wooden sculpture to go up in my office. Um, and I, I, I need something to, to reflect the sound because I don't want to have egg cartons or, or foam battens all over the place. So I've come up with a way of, of do, doing a, a bit of a sound baffle, which is going to look pretty cool, I hope. <laughs> and, oh look, I don't know, I just do I love trying these things before I know how to do them. But, you know, I usually end up working out all right. So I'll keep going. Guys, thanks for popping in. Thanks for saying g'day. Um, there's more coming. There's lots more coming. Um, I, I can't tell you when it's going to be, but for God's sake, keep an eye on the live vlogs as well. So if you haven't subscribed to Maza in Bali, hit the subscribe button because in the next couple of weeks we're going to have a few little live events where we jump on live. Maybe it'll be sitting out there in the, at the housewarming party. It, it might be going on the on the um, the bucks party or whatever it is. We're definitely going to have a few a few log, log in lives and and absolutely for the wedding itself, we're going to be live casting and broadcasting that as well as the build up and the after party. So. If you want to know what's going on over here in Bali and you want to follow Muzzer in Bali, just hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, say g'day, let us know you're on board and you'll get a chance to follow all of our antics. Hey guys, have fun, see you next time or if you're coming over, see you when you get here.